Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Welcome to the Glory Room. I'm Prophetess Lou. Hope you all are having a blessed day. Before we get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. We thank you for your love, mercy, and grace. We ask as we go through this week, this, this week, help us through any, anything and everything, Father God. We, we ask you to help us to be uh, closer to you. Help us to be kind and compassionate this week, Father God. Father God, we ask you to, we welcome the Holy Spirit onto this podcast. We ask him to pour out his wisdom and knowledge into us. Help us apply this lesson to our daily lives. Father God, watch over the ones that, bless the ones that are reading it and bless the ones that are hearing it. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So the verse of today is Psalms 31 4. Get me out of this net that's been set for me because you are my protective fortress. Subject, escaping the net. Christian truths, I'm going to say it and pause behind each one to give you opportunity to say it if you like. I'm escaping the net. I am beautiful. I'm loving. I'm whole. Life seems to be challenging to navigate, especially if you don't have Christ in your life. It can be difficult. And the more we try to make it easier, it doesn't because when we do this without God, it, be, it, it can be difficult. I've had situations in my life that I tried to do without God, and it felt like I was fighting alone, but with but with God, we aren't. We never ha have to feel alone <clears throat> and lost. In the verse today, the author was telling God to get him out of the net he's in. When someone catches a fish in a net, it makes it hard for them to get out. And the more they struggle, the deeper they go in within the net, and the more trapped they become. The author knew that God could release him from all this trouble and mistakes. I've had mistakes in my life, and honestly, some people have never let me live down, but God has. When God freed us from our sins by letting his son die for us, we don't have to worry about the enemy trying to take us back because he can't take us out of his hands. John 10 and 28, I give them eternal life and they shall never perish, but no one would snatch them out of my hands. That's a promise. The enemy can't say, this is mine. I need her back. But the only time we are taken away is when we fall into darkness. Psalms 25 and 15, my eyes are never towards the Lord, forever towards the Lord, for he will pluck my feet out of the net. The protection that God can give us is so effective that we don't have to worry about what will come or how the situation will work out or what will happen because he's a very present help in a fortress. And when we are in need, all we need to do is believe that he will help us through everything. The situations you're dealing with or need rescuing from, he will and can do this for us too. But we have to believe in him. We must know that his love runs so deep that he doesn't care what we did. He just cares about us being with him. God looks past all our faults and sees us as his. That's the very, the very moment. The words leave our lips. God will give us what we need. But sometimes our doubt and sin can cause our, us a delay. But when we say, I know he's there. I know he cares. He will be, we will be all right. Most of the time we see our situation as ones that can't be conquered. We can't conquer it. But God can do anything and everything. <clears throat> it was a man once who thought he was dying. He cried. He, he said to God, do you remember me being faithful? And God told him, I, I will heal you. With the healing, I will also give you 15 years added to your life. See, when God blesses us, no one can take it away. It's ours. But we have to understand the words that Hezekiah used. He said, I was always been faithful servant to you. See, he was faithful through things and situations and God seen that. We must learn the word so we may quote God's promises to him. That is why meditation and learning the Bible verses are essential to our growth in God. Psalms 124 and 7, we have escaped like birds from the snare of the flowers. The snare is broken and we have escaped. The only way for us to escape is by God's hands. We can't be released from anything in our life until God says, okay, free, free her or him. Until we say, I'm tired of being in the place in my life, we won't be released. We, we have to want to change and want to be relieved. See, we get to these places we shouldn't be in because we are too busy running after our for the things in this world instead of the things that are of Jesus or for Jesus. The things in this world is a trap. It's a trap. It is all built to pull us closer to the things of the flesh. And we must start aligning our lives with the word of God and not with what's happening in this world. 
2 Corinthians 12 and 9 says, but he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I boost all the more gladly in my weakness so that the power of Christ may be rested upon me. Today, the word of God tells us that when we are weak, he is strong. When we are weak, he is made perfect. We have to rely on God to make us strong. We have to believe that he can protect us and guide us. But the moment we start relying on the other things, when we are weak, we will never escape the net we are in. God wants to rely, wants us to rely on him in our, in our in our worst situations fully, not in the things of this world, because it all will fade away one day. Prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for everything. We ask you to help us through our day. Sometimes it's hard dealing with life, losing loved ones, and losing people that we have attached ourselves to and pushing people away that we don't and shouldn't have there. But we ask you to walk with us through this because we can't handle it ourselves. We ask you to take our heart and mind and mold us truly change us. Lord, we love you so much. We want to make you happy and please you. Help us to do that. Lord, we want to escape the situation we are in, but we know only you can do that. We ask you to free us, please. We thank you for always caring for us. And Father, if it's anything we are doing that's blocking your protection, please help us to stop and let go. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Reference Psalms 25 and 5. My eyes are ever towards the Lord, for he will pluck my feet out of the net. Psalms 25 and 5. Psalms 140 and 5. The ignorant have hidden a trap for me, and with the cords they have spread a net. Besides the way, they have set snares for me. Psalms 140 and 5. 2 Timothy 2 and 26. And they may come to their senses and escape from the snare of the devil after being captured by him to do this do his will, 2 Timothy 2 and 26. Further reading, Judges 15, 1 through 16 and 31, John 2, 1 through 25, Psalms 103, 1 through 22, Proverbs 14, 17 through 19. This ends Escaping the Net. If you're looking for the memory verse, the verse of the day, further reading and reference is at the bottom of the bio. I've started attaching the devotionals from Surrender Ministries website at the bottom of the uh, of the bio as well. So, Uh, Please take that. Take a look at that. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you, too. Remember to like, subscribe and follow and share with a family member or a friend. And remember also, if you could share on your social media. Thank you so much. Be blessed.